Right, here we go. Uh, starting patterns. Don't... Uh, okay, a warning if you have not watched me play Skylines before. Okay, let me just pause right here. Warning if you've not watched me play Skylines before. I'm not going to make a US-style city. Okay, just a little warning for you right there. Okay, I'm not going to make a super efficient grid system city because I find that boring as hell. Okay, that is not what I like to do. I like to make interesting fluid cities and in a more kind of European style where it's like just organic. And like if, if you want me to build something which is just frustrating, like, you know, all about efficiency and not about just like the feel of the city or whatever then just don't watch, okay, because uh, people get very OCD when they watch me play, because they're like, oh my god, you didn't put this next to this, and it's all good, just relax, okay, it doesn't matter, we're just having a nice time building, that's what's important. Okay, I've got to remember stuff now, I'm going to turn this off, okay, so, oh yeah, pause to begin with, so I'm basically going to build like a little community down the bottom here, because we'll be near the water and stuff, uh, I probably want to get my, you know, f waste pumping out of here, um, yeah, and also the other thing is, it's fun to like, you know, it's more realistic to build roads, you know, sort of, obviously you have like city planning and stuff for sure, but, you know, it's also good to build like a city and then sort of adapt it and change it to its needs because that's kind of realistic. Um, okay, let's so build this. I don't think we can build much bigger at this point, no. So let's just take these guys. Uh, so we have to just build like your standard uh, junction first. Okay, so we'll lead this all the way down. Obviously I want to make this bigger later because it will carry a lot of transport, but uh, to start with we'll just have whatever. And then this is going to just come out. So that'll do to start. Kind of... I am going to be a little bit OCD because I don't really want to... I suppose it might be good to have a roundabout to start. It would maybe be better to have a roundabout to begin with, but at this stage it's going to be totally fine because, you know, they don't even have uh, traffic lights. Does my traffic light system still work? Yeah, it does. Okay, cool. Um, and then, of course, we can make these one way because... Oh, hold up, hold up, hold up. Oh, yeah. Wait, wait. Coming, coming, coming. Oh, yeah. Do I just uh, right-click? Uh, does it have to be one way to start with, and then you... Yeah, 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 that's it. Okay. It doesn't matter anyway, because you wouldn't be going two-way onto a one-way system, so... And this is all going to change later anyway, because I will adapt the road system for... You know, you just can't do it yet, so... This is just how it is. I want to turn off those notifications, but I can't be bothered to take the time to... Uh, find where it's going to be. Okay, so we'll start off. We're going to need an industrial area as well. Uh, let's just take a look at the... Stuff. Where is the... Oh man, I've forgotten how to play this game. Oh, here we go. Traffic. Oh, we can't even look at some of those things yet. Okay, so we've got plenty of wind down in the uh, the edge here if we needed to get electricity from that. But I might start off with some coal or something along those lines. Okay, let's get some cities going down here. So I'm going to build the first community down the bottom. Because this will be kind of away from everything and it means I can get all of the stuff I need together in one place to start with. <coughs> So I'm just going to build almost like a little square to begin with. Because all we need is a very little beginning town, that's all we need. Then we'll get some shops as well. There we go. Actually, don't want to do that there. There. Okay, and uh, let's play. So all of the guys will start coming in. Little cars will begin to arrive, and the fledgling city will begin. I think you get to rename your city at a certain point in time or something like that. So here we go. Cities start to be built. And now they have no power and water, so we need to build power and water. And uh, we'll start off maybe with some wind turbines, but they do make a fair bit of noise. Um, but having a green city is always a good thing, so I will place this down. Yeah, we'll get these, we'll get these down here. They won't need very much electricity at this point, so I'm just going to run this out to the edge, like 
I'm going to put it like there, actually. Bam. There we go. Now they have electricity. And uh, then we'll get some water on the go. So we need basically a water pumping station like this. And I will place this one. Uh, I'll put it like here because they're going to have to kind of get into the city anyway. So there we go. And that will need also electricity. So I can branch this off like so. And then I'll need to pump it in like this. I'm going to go like this actually. Okay, so that's the first little bit taken care of. So these guys are going to have this. Now they have no sewage, they're complaining about this. So I need to get sewage on the go. So I'm going to have to build this water drain pipe. And this obviously wants to be kind of away from stuff. I need to build it kind of really as far down as possible. So I'll put that there. And then I'm going to put this. And I'm going to have to run this all the way back to the city. Like so. Okay. So now they have water coming in and waste going out. Yeah, it's weird, like you wouldn't imagine uh, reach milestone to unlock more services for your citizens, grow the population to reach milestones. We know this. When can we edit this name? Oh, you can do it right here. Okay, so guys, uh, feel free to drop your thoughts for a new name for the city, uh, and I will rename the city. Drop that in the chat, guys. Okay, so now the people in the city need offices or some kind of industry, so we're going to have to create that. Okay, and... Um, because the city, uh, because of the industry stuff, you can see all the cars here now coming into the town. Uh, because the industry is going to, uh, I want to really put the industry up here on this sort of mesa. And um, the industry is going to have a lot of traffic coming in and out. And I want to avoid that messing with the, uh, with the residential traffic. So I'm going to actually create another road coming up here like this. And then hopefully, we're in the negative right now in terms of this. So to begin with, uh, all my sort of traffic will go in and out through here. But eventually, I'll create like a bridging road so that the residential traffic can go there and the industry traffic can go in and out on the highway. So let's just start off. And again, this at this point can be very simplistic. It doesn't need to be complicated at all. One thing that will be an issue though is uh, like sharing services. So... It'll be an issue for like fire services and things like this. Right, let's get some. Yeah, I know, I know. So we'll just get some basic industry down there like that. This will start to grow very quickly. Here we are. And so the guys in the town will come to work here now. But again, there's going to be another issue that these guys are going to require water and they're going to require power. So in order to do that I could run more electricity up there. However on the other hand I could also run, I could also give them like their own power plant up there. Um, oh actually, I, you know another thing that I actually remember I did in the past was when I sort of originally tested this, there's a lot of wind power up here on this hill. And I think I put wind turbines up to sort of branch it out but obviously we started going in a different way this time. So I think for now I'm actually going to just branch this up here like this because, you know, once you've got the pylon up there, it'll carry the whole lot. So we'll just do that. That should provide the power. I need to get water up there as well. Uh, obviously in the very beginning here, you know, stuff is very f spread out, but over time I can remove these pylons as the city expands. So although it looks kind of right now a little crazy with these things, it will, you know, calm down later on because it doesn't need to stay like that way. Okay. So, right, that is happening. What's, what's, what's going on here? What are you complaining? Power? You've got no power. Oh crap, even though it's like right next to the thing. There, have power. Okay. Look, they're freaking out because their toilets are overflowing. Right, okay. This guy now has got no water, so we have to get water up there. So I'm going to have to pipe water up there like this. Okay, so now they've got water. And uh, I'll have to expand this along here like this. Okay. So now everything is beginning to function. Our fledgling industry is starting up. So these things are coming along. Let me know the volume for you guys as well, because I'm never sure about the volume of the game versus myself completely, so let me know if it's a good balance. I can always turn it up a little. 
Okay, let's have a look. Key heights, people are saying. I'm, I'm looking through for the uh, suggestions of names. Parkour Park, I'm not sure about that. Blaze Town, not really feeling that either. Um, let's see here. Feathered Stones, I quite like that. Teaville. I quite like Feathered Stones. I'm going to go with that. Congratulations, Whisper Proud. You get, the, you get to name the city with your good suggestion. I'm going to go Feathered Stones. I like that name. We will get, um, so the city of Feathered Stones. We will get other things coming along as well. Outside connection needed. Please connect your city to a highway connection. Thought it was, dude. Pretty sure it was. Hence why people are coming in and out. So right now this stuff can drive up and down. We're saying the volume is good, but these guys need workers, and uh, we maybe don't have enough workers. You can see right now this little bar down here tells us whether we have like high or low demand for residential things like that. So right now these guys are not supplying enough people uh, to you know the industry up the top. So we need to build more residential space. So we're going to have to build more roads and uh, more residential areas, but. The thing is, is at the same time, the electricity and so on will expand, but it will only expand at a certain rate. So that means we can only build at uh, a rate to enable... Okay, if that keeps happening, I'm going to turn it off because it's going to annoy me. Right, we'll get some more residential, residential, residential. So what will happen if you look at the power, see how it's spread out around the grid area? And then the idea is that you'll have like localized wiring under, you know, as the city expands. So each house and underground to each area, they will wire from what already exists there. So you don't need to continually build more pylons. The city itself will just accommodate that electricity, uh, but not the case with water, because with water, you have to actually build that pipeline in order to accommodate that. So I have to build pipes like this, and then you'll see the water and waste stuff will start to flow any second now. There we go. Okay, so now you have water and waste flowing in and out. And I can monitor what's happening there as well. So these guys will start to expand and grow. <coughs> I notice you don't use the snap tool even when drawing roads. Why is that? Because I don't like it. <laughs> Pretty straightforward. Pizza Hut, very important to get the Pizza Hut in there early on, get that pizza in there. Keep everybody happy with pizza. Good, good times. Still a little bit of uh, worker shortage. This could be because my guys are like too happy and we need some kind of crappy workers. Yeah, seems like everyone's kind of too middle class right now. We need some crap workers, like everyone's little housing. These guys look very well off for people who have literally just started a town. They're looking almost a little too uh, too wealthy. I'm, I'm pretty sure the industry thing will calm down as we get more people coming in here, so we need to just keep expanding, expanding, expanding. And we also need to start thinking about other services as well soon. Uh, low density commercial, and we can have some more industrial. And we can start thinking about zoning our city at some point as well. Uh, right, so let's build some more roads and uh, let's keep expanding our city. Again, like I said earlier, um, people with OCD need not apply to my Skyline streams because I very much just build on the fly. It's how I like to build. I like to just build, 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 and uh, you know whatever, whatever comes may. Those guys are going to need water, so actually they're not too bad, but they're going to need sort of water here. I'm probably going to build up this way a little as well, so I'm probably going to just do that. And then that's going to provide water plenty for that. Um, right, let's build some uh, curved roads. Get a nice little curve going on down here. We'll get some uh, shoreline vista properties. And then we can link this one back around like this. There we go. Nice little road around the town. And we can maybe have a little cul-de-sac right there. Cool. Okay, uh, we need some more shops and stuff because people are wanting shops. Uh, industry has dropped low and uh, they're sort of getting workers. Ah, damn it, the purple stuff is back. See, before I started the stream, I was saying about like how we thought they had gotten rid of the purple. Like, see how it's super purple? 
I seem to remember somebody saying that like the waste from industry had actually been they changed that they changed it from being purple but apparently not so I don't know whether I can just turn on the mod to stop that being purple or not but I don't know but I thought that had actually been changed because it doesn't really make sense why it's purple um, I don't know I can't, it should be just like grey or brown that would be far better but uh, there we go have some tea right here. Yeah, the town has got. <laughs> yeah, my town has got curved roads. American view viewers are literally like freaking out right now. Curved roads? What? Yes, curved roads. Calm down. It's all going to be okay. We have curved roads in the UK. It's not a problem. Relax. Put some more people living there. And uh, these guys haven't got water, but that's okay. They will do shortly. We'll get some residential stuff going on here. And we'll get some more commercial as well. A bit more residential, 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 residential. We need to start thinking about schools and other things in a mo. Put some water out here like this. Yeah, purple's kind of annoying. It's like, why purple? Okay, so the town is starting to grow nicely. We are getting a little way on with this now. Um, can't build anything else yet because we still need to keep expanding, right? So we can't build like other services because they are not required. But it will just keep naturally growing. These guys are building a nice property right here by the look of it. Oh, only at one floor? That's kind of boring. Oh, hey, here's something that bugs me a bit with this game. I think that like if you build... I mean, it's tricky because, like, how is the game going to know this? But I always feel like if you're right next to a gigantic river or you're on, like, a beautiful mesa or you've got a huge, you know, you should be able to maybe uh, click to, you know, redesign this building. So, like, maybe I could, like, right-click it and it will turn it around 180 or something. I don't know. Yay, okay, we've reached Little Hamlet. We've got a population of 480, and that gives us an elementary school, medical clinic, and a landfill site, all of which will be needed. We also have taxes available to us now as well. I'm just going to check my volumes controls though, guys, because uh, I feel like some volumes are a little quiet. I probably have turned some stuff down in time. I'm going to turn the music up a little, the effects up a little, and the main volume up a little. I feel like things have been quite quiet. That feels a little better. Yeah, this feels a little better to me now. Let me know if that's too loud, guys, but it feels a little bit better. It's just the waste from the industry that Luton is complaining about, Sniper. Yes, that is right. Okay, so let's get some electricity. Why does that... Oh, okay, so this guy's complaining he needs electricity, but he's served by the grid. The reason for electricity issues is that if you look right here, our electricity is now in the negative, and that's because our one pylon is no longer supplying all of our needs. How do we get around this? By building more pylons. But I can't build them right on top of one another. I have to build them sort of next to one another. So I will put it, like, here. And by placing it sort of here... It's still within the grid of the other pylon, so they will work together and provide us with more electricity. And now we have plenty of electricity. Everything else is going along fine. We do need uh, waste disposal, though. So landfill is going to be a good thing for us. Okay, uh, Landfill, it's always a bit tricky. Where do you want to put a landfill? <coughs> Nobody wants a landfill near them. Uh, so what I'm probably going to do is put landfill up near the industry stuff. Right up here out of the way. I would like it if I had this grid so I could play it from here. Probably what I'll do is plan to um, initially have like a waste dump here and then I can put them up behind later. So I'm going to extend the road here maybe. Not a curved road. Oh yeah, by the way, I always find I like to build industry to a sort of system, uh, like a grid, more of a grid system, but I find that I like to build residential areas a little bit more sort of freestyle. Uh, so let's just do, mm, let's think, 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 think. Yeah, it's fine, because I'm, I'm going to upgrade stuff as we go anyway. I can start building better roads now, so I'm probably going to upgrade a few things shortly. Uh, let's get our first landfill down. Let's just get that happening. Right, so I'm just going to slap it here, and that'll be fine. Bam. Bad luck people working here. You're going to be happy about that. Okay, here we go. Landfill is in place, and off they go. So it's moving away. So those guys are going to be getting on down to the town now. Again, 
they seem to be servicing this area first. Again, remember that I do want to build a more direct route, so this is only sort of a temporary solution where I have a smaller amount of people here, and that will expand over time. But the, uh, the town is growing nicely, as you can see. We're starting to get more places, coffee shops, little marketplaces, other little buildings. Everyone's going about their life, so that's great. This is nice. Look, they've got like little, uh, they've got little hedges coming on down over the edge of the cliff. That's some very extreme gardening right there. Just like, yeah, you're just going to build the hedge. Just going to build. You might laugh, okay? But when I was out the other day, uh, well, I was out with my family a while ago, and uh, we were walking around, and there was actually um, a stone wall. If you if you are from the US or wherever, but you might not know of a dry stone wall. We have that in the UK. And a dry stone wall is basically where you take rocks and you just make a wall. Often very neatly, like very neatly indeed. They just they, they often will cut or just sort of chip, but often not. They'll just place the rocks in a really perfect manner to make a wall. And we couldn't believe it. We were watching it. this wall was so long, and then we came up to the cliff edge. Uh, like there was like literally a hill that went like that, like this angle, this angle right here, and they built the stone wall like up that angle. It was like what the, uh, and it was it was funny because we were saying like we've been walking along the stone wall for like I don't know half a mile, a mile, and um, they built this whole wall right, and we joked with, we said like can you imagine they just got to the end of this stone wall and the guys just like well well done guys uh, well done for building the wall up to this point, uh, now you've got to go up there and it's like like. <laughs> He'd be like, yeah, fuck off. <laughs> yeah, we planted the hedge at the back, but that fell into the river. Yeah, this one here. Not, I'm, I'm just going to say this. Not a child-friendly property, this. Um, you know, if you've got a family, maybe, you know, rent something which has got an actual, like, fence around it. Look, look where they've they put the children's sand pit right next to the cliff. That's like, that's not a good... Uh, we need to put like a marker on that house for social services, I think, really. Right, anyway, we need to expand. What the hell is this? The Barlow residence. Oh, they're not happy. The info window. I'm going to leave the pop-ups because I'm assuming that they're going to just stop soon once we've kind of done all the things, you know. Right, okay, let's get some other stuff in. So we need a medical centre, we need all these kinds of things. Uh, let's expand the city more because we need to. City. <laughs> Our small town more. Um... I'm going to expand this way a bit because then I want to be able to link up more easily. So I'm, I don't want to build another road off of here because it's too close to the other junction. So I'm going to build it up here like this. And then I'll maybe have like a little loop around here or something like that. Just do like... Actually, we'll just leave that for now. Okay, so let's go here. Just go straight down. Straight downtown. And then what I will do is link this through, like so. Don't be sad, I've just given you a good road. Right. Turn this around. There we go. So that'll do for now. And then I'll put like a, another road through here. It's important to have these connecting roads I found through the middle and residential areas because it means that the fire services and things like that can get around a little better. Okay, let's uh, get some industry. I'm just going to use a brush on this bit. So residential, like that. And need a bit of commercial in, so we'll commercialize where? Here. We need quite a lot, so let's bash in some there as well. Uh, we need another road. Let's. Yeah, let's just throw down through there. <clears throat> okay. So let's more residentialize this, 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 this. Need to start thinking about schools as well now. Okay, these guys are going to freak out because they've got no water. Jesus, uh, this is the annoying bit where it's like, okay, how am I going to do this efficiently? By not being efficient at all, probably. There you go. Everyone's like, no, you've made inefficient pipes. Sorry. It's just the way it is, guys. Relax. Okay, our electricity is uh, dwindling, so we need more power, more power. Uh, we're still doing okay on money and stuff, so I'm just going to bash another one right in there. Uh, water systems and treatment is all doing just fine. There's our beautiful slurry coming out. Mm. Uh, 
Let's uh, don't remind LT that he has a beard. It looks too awesome. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I need to forget that I have it so that it doesn't irritate me. You know. Um. Luton, what would you choose between this game and SimCity? They're actually quite different. You know, a lot of people slate SimCity because they're like, this game is what SimCity should have been. This game is very fun. Yes, yes, new services. I know there's a medical center. Okay, relax. All right, let's get the medical clinic in. Oh, we need 10 cray. 10 cray? No. What do we need? We need 10,000 patient capa- Why? What? Why can't I build that? Oh, okay. A worthy village of 950. Why is there no sound? I feel like it should be like zha, zha, zha. We can now do districts, policies, second loans, which we never... I never use loans. Rarely. Fire department, police department, some unique buildings, forestry, agriculture, power, water usage, and so on. Police stations and the firehouse. Okay, cool. Oh, now I can. It must have been because it was... Oh, no, it's just because it's on a weird thing. Right, so I want my medical center, obviously, to service the town. But at the same time, I want to think about, like, where else I'm going to build it. So I'm probably going to put it, like, here... And everybody is happy. Um, we also now have small schools. We have my uh, Japanese school style and the elementary school style. Uh, we'll just start with the elementary school style. And I'm going to bosh it in here. And it's going to service nearly most of everybody. Everybody's happy. Um, fire service is critical. Uh, fire service, I'm probably going to put on this road here so that they can go up and down very well. Just realised that my roads are right-hand drive again. I don't really care because it doesn't matter that much, but I probably should have made it left-hand drive this time. Yeah. Anyway, um, wait. What's happening here? Remember to have a look at the newly unlocked Solar Civic Amenity site. Yeah, this is true, but we don't need it yet. So, like, why are you suggesting this to me? Fire, fire. Do, do, do. We do need fire. We have a local fire station. This is a good thing. Uh, we also have the standard firehouse. I'm going to put the standard firehouse for the city here. And you can see that it serves, again, most of the city. It's only small at this time, so that's fine. Everybody's happy. Okay. Um, however, something which is not serviced is the industrial area, because it's kind of far out from town. And this is where the local fire station will be useful because the local fire station is small it's a tiny little thing like and it will sit just on the end here perfect it's cheaper it's smaller and it just deals see so now we can have a nice little fire station just right next to the other stuff so that's good so if there's any little fires that guy will deal with this right here we don't have to pay out too much like with the other one right here oh, this guy needs water apparently just build off this a little. Set policies, we can. So let's districtize our area. Let's just pause it for a sec. So I can create a district like this, and that will enable me to have certain policies on this district. Now, I normally, when we have played, name the districts after people in the stream, guys. So, if you would like this district to be named after you, please tell me why. And uh, the best answer will get the very first district named after them. We're also going to name the uh, industrial area as well, so feel free to get involved with that one. So I will have to name this, guys. So again, shout it out. Right, let's get that going on. There we go. 